Oh, we got we got the pullback I was expecting today. Although I was expecting it more on positioning than uh, than the treasury announcement, but that's going to mean that Wednesday is going to be a lot more or potentially a lot more volatile. Closed above trend here at the end of the day. That should give us some upside into tomorrow. I'm still waiting for that to load. It still doesn't look like we have a lot of out-of-the-money calls. Um, looks like most of the buying here into the end of the day was 5100 through 5115 again. Um, but we are above gamma neutral and delta neutral. So the market maker is slightly supportive, even though call positioning doesn't really extend beyond 5125. It could leave us kind of hung up, similar to the way we were today. Uh, but we'll see how that plays out tomorrow. I don't think there's any earnings tonight to drastically influence anything, but we may start to see yields climb a bit off of the Treasury announcement. They haven't yet, but USD's kind of bouncing back. Seems like all said and done, the Japanese FX market intervention really only dropped USG JPY 200 points. So not a very significant swing, and uh, it's likely that data coming out this week will push the dollar even higher. Um, I think there's still plenty of room on Dixie up to like 113. Commodities came up a little bit today, slight price improvement there. Dollar down, yields down. Uh, looks like one month correlation almost back to where it was Thursday. Uh, three month now lower, lower than the bounce back on Friday. So both of those trending down. Ford yield on volatility at negative 3.366%. Um, yield curve's pretty flat. Not a lot changing there. I don't think bond vol's printed yet for the day. A skew on Friday had reverted. I would imagine that this has probably pulled back a little more with all the vol selling today. 41.35% of the S&P above the 20 day moving average and correlation between VIX and cash VIX has now moved slightly more negative, which is uh, a break in the trend, uh, but kind of expected given how hard they've been shorting volatility. And we're pricing in uh, 0.285 cuts for 2024. So still just really one rate cut for the rest of the year. Uh, we, we broke back up into the into the trend so this gives us more of a just an uptrend and stabilizes it after we uh broke down from that consolidation i think this this stability at 5100 51 20 probably gives us a little bit of room to break up to the 5200 51 52 12 level um and complete at least the rest of this bullish reversal after that point, not so sure, because that's going to be around the time that we get FOMC, jolts, all of that. If labor's strong this week, that's going to be pretty bearish. I expect the Fed to be fairly hawkish. No big earnings today. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we still closed today below the 50 MA. Um, and in fact, we never even tested it. So we're still kind of hung up on the 30 EMA. I mean, this... This should be fairly bullish, but if we fail this test, that's very bad. Um, if we fail that, we're probably headed back to like 40, 49, 53, maybe lower. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but um, we haven't we haven't broken it yet. Obda, it's uh, um, uh, operating income before depreciation and amortization yeah so we'll uh we'll see how the rest of the week goes i still i still kind of expect bulls to push to a position where they're more stable against the against their short vol tomorrow because right here there's there's still a ton of risk which we saw today right like they're they're way too close to the puts they're selling and they need a little bit of breathing room especially before the fad right Otherwise, otherwise we're going to get like a big Vana squeeze day, which we almost got today. They, they barely turned it around in time. How much more leverage do they have, though? Uh, I mean, the Bank of Japan intervention helps a little bit, right? I kind of, I kind of pushed the, the total leverage down. So theoretically, they should be able to push it right back up again. That's a decent amount. Point, point three. Yeah, no problem.
thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll have Pickles Picks out tonight, and I will see you all bright and early tomorrow. Later.